My story on YouTube, part two, how I hit 1,000 subscribers and 75,000 views, coming up. Okay, so this is part two. We were talking about uh, the content, how to promote the content uh, marketing. So content is king and marketing is queen. I was not marketing my videos and I learned if I don't do it, YouTube is not going to do anything. I had to prove to the platform that people are seeing those videos, that people see those videos, that they like, they comment. If they do that and then YouTube see that those videos are proven that are good, then the promoting stage is gonna start suggesting uh, and homepage. YouTube will start putting in people's news feeds, homepage, and everywhere if you do this right. So if you don't get viewed, yeah, it, it, it's hard. But at first, don't focus too much on that because you're learning your skill, you're getting into the routine. But after a while, you have to start doing the promoting because, yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. That's the hard part, but yeah, we can do it. Moving forward, I started to do more blog because it was hard for me to come with a video every week of music, you know, putting those footage together, me playing the guitar, me singing. The, it was too much that take me like, three weeks or more to put those videos together. So I have to come with different idea that I that can be easy, that I can just put the camera and start talking in two, three, five minutes and be done. And yeah, I started testing that. And even though it's not, you know, getting too much view, rarely anything, but I'm practicing. I'm getting better. My confidence is better. My thinking is better. I'm creating and that's that's not easy to do to get into that routine once you start it and it's a lifetime now this is my year number two and a half and now i hit a uh, hundred and fifty uh videos in my channel which is a lot of videos and then you you do like 100 b and then you're like Finally, I'm trying to figure this out after 100 videos. So it's, yes, it's a lot of work. This is not nothing easy. That's why it's not for everyone, okay? This is not for everyone. I emphasize that because many people will start and they get like, this is not working. Well, if you don't work, if you don't put the effort, if you, you know, it's a lifetime, yes, it's not gonna work. If you put one, two videos and spread miracles, it's kind of hard. By this time, I heard that if you join groups in Facebook that are in your topic, I mean music. So I joined one music group and started like, I don't like to be on Facebook and, 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 and scrolling and that, I didn't have Facebook uh, until uh, 2017. <laughs> I didn't like that, but if I want to promote my music, if I want to get out there, I figure I need to then. Because for me, it was like wasting my time. I want to be practicing my music. I want to be in my studio, but I don't want to be here wasting my time. But I say like, well, this is the world that we're going now. So I have to learn that. So I joined this group and I forgot about the group. Then one day I was in my Facebook. This is now like November almost December, so a year later after I started my uh, my channel. But this time I have like 50 subscribers uh, after one year. I know it take a lot. <laughs> it will take a lot. And I'm, I'm telling you. I was scrolling and I see this group, the music group, and I see one person putting a question and asking for a solution. And I have the solution because I have been in that place before. And I jump in the conversation and say, hey, uh, you can do this and that and this and you will be fine. And then I say like, I'm in video now. 
I'm recording videos, I'm doing videos, and I'm, 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 I'm all my life now in videos. I'm learning about cameras and learning about all the videos. So for me now, it's not like too hard making a video. I say like, hey, if you want, I can do a video for you. Then he jump right and say, that will be awesome. Are you gonna be making me a video? And I say, well, give me three or four days. I'm gonna then do a video for you. I'm not asking for anything else, just I'm, I'm getting experience, I'm getting, I'm getting my feet wet, I'm, I'm, I'm going in, you know. So I did a little bit of my research, how I do it, how I can present it. I did my note, some note, I didn't write much because I, I am bad of writing things, but I try my best to do some writing to have some order and I started a video and I did like 40 minute video. And then when I finished, I was like, this is bad. I think something went wrong with the bad, the audio or my order. It was a disaster. What I did, I recorded again. I say like cut in the same video and I say I started recording again and something happened. You know, when you're driving to a place that you have never gone before and then you are like, this is the stop, this is the street, this is the house and this, and you're kind of like lost because it's your first time going there. That was my sample in the video. When I did it the second time, now I know where I'm going. I know where to stop. I know what to say because I did it before with all my, you know, stop and, and mistake and all of that. But this time, my second time, it was more flowing because now I have more structure in my head. What is first, what is second, and it run much better. Still with mistake, but I didn't stop. That's why in here in YouTube, don't stop, record, fix all the mistake later. Because if you start stop, okay, I'm gonna stop now and I'm gonna fix this part and then I'm gonna stop. You're, you're never gonna be ending that video. And before you know, you're gonna be discouraged and you're not gonna finish the video because you're gonna start stumbling and stumbling and stumbling and stumbling. And then that gonna get your joy is gonna go, go it's gonna be gone. You're not going to have any more, uh, you know, motivation to finish. You're going to be like, I'm so bad at this. I'm so <sighs> bad. <laughs> and you're going to get discouraged. So I didn't stop. I record everything. It was much better the second time. And then when I was in editing process in the video format, cutting and checking, then, oh, that word was wrong. Let me fix it now. Or, or I can put a screen or in the screen, you know, computer, I can put a note, uh, this mean this. And this. so I was trying to fix this, the video. At the end, it came pretty decent, like 30 minute video, but I was explaining detail how I do it. When I was finished, I was like, maybe if I put an introduction, maybe, maybe people can see it because it was a topic that is trending, that people search for it on YouTube. So I did my first intro. I did it with footage of my previous video that was released in 2018, uh, Get Happy. And I took some of the footage that I did for that video and I did my first intro. So then when I start my video, I say, this video is about this topic. And then the intro st start. And then when the intro ends, I present myself and I start the content. So that's good to do. Do as the first of your video, what is your video about? Because then people will see if they are in the right place or if they are in the wrong place, if they're gonna keep watching or they're gonna click off. So then at first do the hook, that is called the hook. You're gonna say in this video, I'm gonna teach you did that and that introduction and then you put your intro with your logo and then you start your welcoming and then uh, reminding them to subscribe, to hit the like and, and the notification. Then you do your content and then at the end, remind them again and be done. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, you have to do your announcement because before I was doing the videos and I was so afraid to ask for people for, for like and comment. But if, if you don't do that, people were not gonna do that, okay? If they like them, you say, remind them, if you like it, please comment, like, and subscribe. Then they were, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, let's do it, okay? But if you don't say nothing, they, they're not gonna do it. And remember, if you don't ask for that, YouTube is not gonna see a much 
uh, movement in your channel so they're, they're not going to do anything. So I put my intro and voila, the video was ready. I then reach that person and say, hey, the video is ready. You can see it now. Here's the link on my YouTube channel. Boom. Then waiting and waiting and waiting. Nothing happened. No response. The person disappeared. No more interaction with the person. I don't know. I was like, after all that work that I put into this video, took me like four days to, to put my head and took me like two days to record and edit and, and all of the stuff. But the video was good. Introduction, content, the hook, the outro, everything was there. A trending topic, a topic that if people search in YouTube how to do this, it will appear, maybe not in, in 10 or 20, but maybe in 50. If people kept watching and see all those variations, then they can find me in number 50, which is crazy. <laughs> That's how hard it is in this world. But I took the risk. I say, what if I do my first post in this group that have like 20,000 members and maybe they're gonna shoot me they, maybe they're gonna delete my, my members and, and, and take, keep me away or something. And I write, hey, I did this video for this person that have a question and I answered that question in this video. Maybe you have that same question. It's not perfect and it's long, but maybe it can help some of you. And I put it there. By my surprise, people start giving feedback, comment, like, dislike. Some of them even share my video. Some of them even subscribe to my video. Some of them commenting, hey, this is a great video. It helped me with my situation. Thank you. Can you do more? And that was in the beginning of December 2018. Before the year end, remember I was in 50 subscribers. Before the year end, my dream was if I can have 100 subscribers before the year end, so I can have 100 subscribers in one year. That would be great. But I was just as 50. By that video, people started watching and getting momentum and sharing that video. I hit 100 subscribers before the year end. For me, that was a big light boop moment. Light bulb boop. <laughs> it was a lesson. I have to not only do my blogs, not only do my music, not only do karaoke music, I have to start doing some topic that are gonna be trending, that people are gonna find, that people are looking for that answer, that I can answer them in a video. And if I share it, because remember first, I have to share it, I have to do the marketing so people can see it. If people can see it, that video, People saw it, people like, dislike, comment, and share. YouTube saw that, and YouTube took that video and start promoting the video to other people outside of my subscribers. And people from all over the world started to get, and I was asking, how did you find me? I am from Africa. I found your video searching on, on YouTube. And I was like, so if that person was searching, that means that the ranking now I was like in spot 50, my ranking went up. And last time I checked, my vi that video, that same video, talking about the same video, the only video that I did to uh, help one person, now it's like it was in ranking spot number 10. Again, it was a like moment for me. It was a moment that, yeah, you can do your stuff, but then if you want to grow in YouTube, then you need to start doing things out of your comfort zone to help people to give value to other people if you give value and then people like it then they're gonna see like i like it this is authentic i'm gonna subscribe and then you have a fun a fun there for you know for the long run so again content is king you need to have a good content but without marketing the queen is going nowhere what I did then, I joined more group. I said, well, if I did that in that group, maybe I can join more group and check if, I, they, if they need my knowledge. I can say that 
oh, hey, I have a video about that. Oh, I'm going to make a video about that. Or just telling them and, and, and get into that routine. So I enjoy more groups and more groups about that. I know it's a lot of work. What I was doing is that maybe once a week I was checking the group and then sending my videos or, or doing videos that are asking questions. And what I did was then I say, what if I do a complete series of many of questions that people are asking? So when the people ask those questions again and again and again and again, I can just, hey, can you see my video? I answer that question there. And that's what I started to do. So not only doing my blog, my music, and karaoke music, but I was then doing a couple of videos how to record guitar, how to record bass, how to do that, and how I do that. Those videos are a hit because I can share those videos on and on and on and on. So that was is so good about uh, YouTube that the videos can have view even after five years. In Facebook, they get buried because you do it today, you spend three hours on that video, you do it today, tomorrow it's gone. No one will find it on search, it's not a search engine, so it's gone, you lost that. Why you don't then do it in YouTube? It's true, you're gonna start low, but then after two years, if that video is gonna start ranking, then it's gonna get momentum. And if you keep sharing it, then YouTube will start promoting that videos. Fast forward, I'm getting close now to the finish. Yeah, finally. November 2019, I hit 500 subscribers. Yeah. In YouTube, the first two years are the hardest one. See, this is almost getting two years and I hit barely 500 subscribers. And I am working all weeks, putting a decent video every week. Okay, sometimes I was missing and then I was like, oh my, I had to, because it's a lot of work. But you're gonna grow in explosion. So at first, it's very, very slow. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's very slow. No, you're not gonna see views. You're not gonna see subscriber, you're not gonna see like, you're not gonna, you're gonna get discouraged. Even your family, they don't, they don't wanna watch the video. Your friend, they're, they're gonna ignore you. <laughs> because after, the, you know, that one period of time, they're not gonna, they're gonna stop watching your videos. Yeah, it's hard, it's not easy. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a lifetime, but I knew I wanna do this for life, I wanna be doing music in my home. I don't want to get into my day job anymore. I'm doing that right now as a side hustle, see? But I want to be in a point that I want to get start getting money from my house. Clients, so I can record or mix their project and send them back, hey, here your project in Africa, here your project in Australia or whatever, and get client that way, get my music that way too. So that was my dream and I am think I'm going into that direction. It will take years, but it's better start. You need to start somewhere, okay? Don't wait, start right now before you are ready, okay? If you wait till you're ready, you're never gonna start. So one tip, start right now. Now that I am now in two year and a half, maybe and a half, not yet, but almost getting close, Finally, I am now very close to hit 1,000 subscribers. But yeah, I'm sharing this to encourage you that I was shy, that I didn't like to be in camera, that I was thinking I'm a failure, that who am I to share stuff with other people that maybe can help them. Uh, on top of that, my first language is no English, it's Spanish. So I'm doing this in other language that is not my first language. Yeah, all those stuff, all those fears, all those are come against and, and if you think it twice, you're not gonna do it. You need to press record and punch fear in the face and just do it and practice and do it and practice and practice more and learn more and get into, but that's my story. The key is value. You need to give value. If you give value to other people, then you will start reaching more people and people will appreciate because they are looking for answers 
and you are helping them. So hope that was helpful. I know it was long. Whew, man. <laughs> I think this is the longer video I have ever done. I break my own rule. I try to do 15, 10. A couple of my videos are longer than 20 and 30, but wow, because this one, I think this one went over the hour if I put it all together. But you got the idea. Please, if you like us, if you're still here, thank you so much. Like, subscribe if you're not ready. Uh, smash the like. Uh, click the notification bell. And share with your friends pe or people that you know that they want to start and they still struggling. I'm going to start one day, but no, the day is today. Because... When is the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago. So start today. So tomorrow you can see and be so happy that you did. See you next time. Remember, release a new sound is inside of you. See you. Bye.